here installing some PVC pipe. I'm gonna show you guys the correct way to bond these together. And first you're gonna put the purple primer in there and let it sit for about maybe a minute or two and let it dry, then it's ready to use. The reason you're putting the purple primer in there um, around these joints that are gonna connect together is because it almost feels rough where when you put the glue in, then it will bond. You don't want it slipping out later in the future. Um, I had a friend who thought he knew what he was doing. This was about 20 years ago, but he would put them all together with the glue and then put the purple primer on the outside of it. That wasn't even doing anything. He told me, oh, that's the way you do it and it's code. But that's funny when I mentioned to him 20 years later that he had made a mistake and that's not how you do it. There was no internet back then. Nobody could watch a video in, or a how-to video. Hardly was any instructions unless you knew somebody who knew how to do it. Or... Maybe he got his information from the hardware store. Who knows? Nobody knows. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what I did is I've bought these joints here. We have a pipe that was coming out of the wall and up and around, which we've cut out <clears throat> right here because we're putting in a wall-mounted vanity. So what we need to do is hide this inside of the wall. So what we're doing is we're going to connect the pipe and go inside the wall, and then the pipe will be outside of the uh, drywall. And we also moved the plumbing in yesterday, but this is not about plumbing the video. But anyways, we moved the uh, plumbing inside of the wall instead of coming out of the floor. That way the wall mounted vanity will look nice and flush at the bottom over here. But continuing on, to get the measurement that's needed in here, I'm going to connect one of these joints to this PVC pipe. And only one of them right now. And then when I put it up inside of there... I'll be able to get a better measurement of where it's going to fit. You just can't slide these darn things on and off real good. I mean, you can, but it's just you're fighting with the darn thing. See what I mean? So, and I don't even feeling my finger in there. It's only halfway in. So what I'm going to do is put one of them together, slide it forward. See what I'm doing right there? I'll be able to get a good measurement of where I need to be, cut it, and then carry on so forth. Also make sure that when you go and put a joint together, that, oops, oh, that's not good. All right, anyways, knock that over, no big deal. But make sure that you got some play in your pipes so you're able to um, put these together and lock together, because once you lock them together, it's a done deal. You know what I mean? You got like 20 seconds to pull the thing out, if not less. So make sure you got some play so you're gonna be able to get all these pipes in together. I'm gonna to show you guys, actually, I haven't showed you guys the label of the correct one to use. Regular clear PVC cement. This comes in a two pack for about five bucks for about both of them, okay? So first we're going to dip your purple primer. I'm trying to do this with one hand, guys. And I put some around this. Some people like to wait 20 seconds or so. You don't have to, but it gets it to be more sticky. Slide this on. And that's it. Make sure you got it pushed on really hard. It's probably a good idea to mark um, about a half inch before you do it if you're a beginner. Like say I was going to do this pipe, I would make sure you got a straight cut. I wouldn't use that one, but cut, mark like a little like half, the distance that it's going to go in deep. And that way when you push it and you know what's in there. You could also look inside of here. I don't want the camera to flip on you. Hold on. You could look inside of this pipe. And you could feel and see the joint that it's in where it needs to be for the distance. Because you don't want them only to go in maybe a quarter inch or something. You need to make sure you push them as far as they'll right, go. So I've got my one joint put together. It's good to have a marker like I said. And what I did was put it, see how it's right above it? And I marked it where it's going to get cut at. And this is going to sit just like that. And this pipe in here, like I told you guys, make sure you got some play. I got a little bit of play here, up or down, so I know that if I have to go in and out a half inch, I can get it to get the pipe to go in. The things you could use to cut these, they make PVC pipe um, cutting tools that you could purchase, but I was lazy, I didn't wanna go down to my truck. I used a oscillating tool to cut it. It's fairly good. Make sure to clean up any um, plastic that's going to hook hairs and stuff like that for the person you're doing this for because then they'll get their drain clogged and start to build up. So just make sure to clean that up, rough the edges. I'm going to prime this and put this together with one of these uh, links here and that should be the bottom section and then I'll go and carry on 
to continue to build up my pipe. Right. When you put these together, make sure you put glue on both sides, inside the ring and on the outside of the tube. That way you're able to just push it and hold it in. Also, when you put these together, hold them together and push for about, count to like at least 30 seconds to be safe because they'll tend to want to slide out. Right, so that's about it. I've got this piece on there. I have a, just to tell you guys, have a little rubber mallet next to you to bang that dang thing in. Sometimes they're really tough, sometimes they go in smooth, but put lots and lots of glue right now when I go to put this in on the inside of this and on the outside of that and that. That way I can twist and turn because the one thing you don't want to do is just put not enough glue where it won't slip and you're stuck and you can't get it to push in. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put lots of glue outside on the inside and then go ahead and shove this shove in. Shove the bottom one in, got it in there real nice and tight. And now the last one, I'm going to glue this up and we're going to put that together and we're going to call this job complete. That's it. We got the pipe in, got it all put in. And what you call that piece right there is an extra piece. Just kidding. But yeah, that's something you can't return because I primed it. I thought I was going to have to do some more up and around stuff, but I guess I didn't have to. Uh, it never hurts to buy extra pieces, though. You don't want to run back to the store and go back for... That's an hour of your time. You can't get back. Anyways, <clears throat> call this job complete. Now we're going to call him the drywall finisher, the floor finisher, and that would be me. Okay? So that's how you plumb pipes with PVC correctly. And if you do it wrong, it's not my fault. You didn't follow what I was saying. Give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.